is the question um, which will clearly we will do this uh, actually which will clearly uh, tells us the concepts used for the sign convention whether we have it's a test whether we have learned them or not so you can do this problem it means you can uh, actually you have the uh, grip in those, you, uh, those concepts are your grip so let us see how this question is done he says a ball is thrown from top of the kilt in upward direction uh, a ball is thrown from top of the kilt vertically in upward direction I'm using a word vertically here vertically in upward direction with a speed of 30 meter per second it returns to the ground after 8.0 second calculate height of the kilt speed by which ball hits the ground maximum height reached by the ball from the ground and two times when it is at a distance of 25 meter from top of the cliff let us see what is happening this is the ground and suppose this is the cliff this is the top of the cliff so ball is being thrown here so i will take this s as 0 when t is equal to 0 now ball goes up from here it reaches at this point then it goes here and it hits this one it hits this one uh, after 8.0 seconds now i have to see suppose this is the height uh, i have taken this s equal to 0 when t is equal to this is the s is equal to 0 and this is the height of the surface for h so i will see i'll consider the motion from here its velocity u is positive here 30 meters per second it is thrown up so I will take u is plus 30 meter per second because it is thrown upward and a always minus 9.81 meter per second is square always it is minus we take upward is positive we are taking upward is positive we really take this one and let us see now the total time although I am calculating from here uh, the total time is 8.0 seconds means I need answer in the two significant figures or three significant figures so let us see 8.0 seconds then uh, what is the actually this is the y coordinate so y coordinate is minus h because the zero is down so h is the maximum x the height of the kilt so y is actually or I can take s s is because this is s so s is minus h here s is minus h here if s, s is minus h here let us see if s is minus h how I can solve this question now you know uh, that s is equal to my uh, uh, it's various equations you can use you know s is equal to ut plus half a t square so I can use here s is equal to minus h u is 30 and t is 8 seconds plus 1 upon 2 a is minus 9.81 and t square is 8 square so this is coming is minus h uh, you will be I will be calculating this thing with the help of this calculator it is 30 into t and it is uh, plus 1 into 9.81 into 8 square this is coming out to be minus 73.92 so minus and minus cancel it is 73.92 meters I will write the answer just 73.9 meter and 3 significant figure as you can just say height of the kilt is almost 74 meter so see I do not consider here it rises up it is rising how much the distance is traveling I have just taken s minus h and just have taken the entire time is 8 seconds and just calculated that's it that becomes the actually height of the kilt so it's simple use plus 3 meter, 30 meter per second is minus 9.81 meter per second square t is 8 second s is minus h just you put this so s is equal to ut plus half h square or s is minus h with 30 into 8 plus 1 upon 2 minus 9.8 into 8 square 
just calculate the minus h is minus minus cancel out so h as height comes out to be 74 meter see i have taken the s as minus h so when s is minus h h will be positive because i have just taken it already minus so this is the height of the kelf comes out to be almost i'll be writing here the answers it is uh, around 73.9 meters uh, i may use this may be used other way also because i'll be just deleting now uh, this section let us see uh, let us see okay, how we have uh, these things now the second part second part is first we calculate height of the kilt now second part is he says speed by which ball hits the ground I have to find the speed by which ball hits the ground so I can just take it suppose V is equal to U plus AT I'll just consider it from here. So V is the final speed. V it must be negative because it's coming down. So it must be negative. Elastic must be negative. The speed will be positive. I'll take. So U is 30 minus 9.81 into 8. So this is coming out to be 30 minus 9.81 into 8. It's going minus 48.48 meters per second or v is minus 48.5 meters per second so i can say speed if i ask for the speed the speed will be 48.5 meter per second although the velocity is minus 48.5 meter per second but he has asked a speed so i will say the speed is 48.5 meter per second so it will come negative because the ball is coming down now the next part it says maximum height reached by the ball from the ground let us see how i can calculate the maximum height read by the ball from the ground now maximum height from the ground is actually this point this is from this is the top it reaches here this is the height maximum now first i will calculate the displacement respect uh, suppose uh, this is uh, this total is the h maximum height uh, i will just add this 73.9 meter to this one but just want to calculate this displacement suppose this displacement is y it is y up to here suppose then i can calculate you know uh, y is equal to u y t or u t so u t sorry s is equal to u t plus half a t square just consider s is y u is 30 now t is not known sorry t is not known here i can't use this equation but i can use this 2as is equal to v square minus u square so 2a is minus 9.81 as is y v square 0 square minus 30 square because at this point final velocity is 0 so this is coming out to be minus 19.62 into y is minus 900 minus is cancelled minus so y is now 900 divided by 19.62 it comes out to be 900 divided by 19.62 it comes out to be 45.87 45.87 meters so the height maximum from ground is 45.87 meters plus 73.9 meters or nine nine meters whatever same so it will be 45.87 plus 73.9 so it comes out to be 119.77 or i can say it is 119.8 meters or roughly speaking i can say it is 120 meter from the ground so this distance is from height maximum height is 120 meter just i find uh, I'll the, the, this displacement first here the final velocity is zero 2s is equal to v square minus u square so it's 2 into minus 9.81 into v, y is equal to 0 square minus 30 square so this comes out to be this one 45.87 meter i just added 45.87 to 73.9 and it comes out to be 119.8 or 120 meter now next question is uh, part three uh, part 4 is he says two times when it is the, at a distance of 25 from top of the kilt. 
Now he sees from the top of the kilt this distance is a 25 meter here, 25 meters from here. So actually it will be, there will be two times, first when this time, other time will be from this up to this, this one. So there will be two times coming, let us see uh, how much this is coming. So actually the thing is I will write S is equal to UT plus 1 upon 280 square. So S is 25, U is 30T plus 1 upon 2 minus 9.81T square. So this coming out to be 25 is equal to 30T minus 4.905T square. I can bring this here 4.905T square minus 30T plus 25 is equal to 0. So T will be equal to this is quadratic equation can be solved it's minus B so it's minus minus 30 plus minus under root of B square minus 30 whole square minus 4 value of A is 4.905 and C is 25 upon 2 into 4.905. Now we have to solve this equation. Uh, I have the calculator which can solve this equation directly but you are uh, you can use the calculator this one I am using uh, my equations here directly by which I can solve the things so it is 4.905 uh, minus 30 and 25 I just put the values in my calculator so let us see how it is solving now so one value is coming T as 5.12 seconds for the other value coming other is 0 0.995 seconds so actually first value is this 0 0.995 seconds then it goes here and comes here then the total value is 5.12 seconds. So there are two times. This time is when ball is rising up and this is when when ball is rising down. So there are two times clearly when the ball is at 25 meters height. We can avoid this. We can actually avoid this uh, uh, by taking the quadratic form. If you are not interested to use the quadratic formula, uh, you can use first like in this way. Suppose if you are not interested uh, while using the quadratic formula, how will you be uh, using? Uh, see, first I'll find the final velocity at 25 meter. So it is 2as is equal to v square minus u square. It will be 2a is minus 9.81 into s is s is 25. v square minus u square is 30 square. So this is coming out to be 2 into 9.81 into 25. Sorry, first I have to. Uh, this is 2 into 9.81 into 25. It is coming as minus 490.5, and this is plus 900, must be equal to v square. So v square will be equal to. So V will be plus and minus 20.24 20 20 meters per second plus and minus. Plus is the value when ball is going up and minus the value when ball is going down. Now I'll calculate the T. Now T is from this equation v is equal to u plus a t I can use directly t is equal to v minus u upon a so t is v is first v is positive it is 20.24 minus u is 30 upon a is minus 9.81 so I get first value it's 20.24 minus 30 there will be some difference because I have just rounded it off and divided by 9.81 minus will cancel out and it comes out to be 0 0.995 in second value 0 0.995 meters per second so if the velocity is positive means ball is rising then the time comes out to be this one suppose if the velocity is negative and ball is coming down then i will say t will be equal to minus 20.24 20 
minus 30 upon minus 9.81. This will be minus 50.24 upon minus 9.81. Minus minus cancel out. It's 50.24 divided by 9.81. It comes out to be 5.12 second again. So there are two methods for this thing. But see here the velocity is, I have taken the velocity when it's negative. It comes. When it reaches here, its velocity is positive. Uh, so it actually reaches here after 0 0.995 seconds. Uh, sorry, just second, not meter per second. And when it comes down here, it is 5.12 seconds. So this question has been done that way.